Despite the foolproof security system, sometimes prisoners still manage to escape. After hearing their stories, we sometimes get surprised to know how these prisoners came up with those ideas. I have put together a list of 7 unbelievable maximum prison escapes that will surely blow your mind. Back in 1934, the Crown Point Lake County Jail was renowned for its escape-proof security system. The police officials and National Guardsmen were always there to keep an eye on prisoners and to make escape almost impossible. You will be flabbergasted to know how an astute prisoner escapes from jail. And that was his second successful attempt. John was involved in unpardonable crimes like bank robbery and killing people. That's why he became notorious as public enemy number one. According to the newspapers, John fooled the police officers by using a fake gun that he made from wood and shined with shoe polish. He forced the guardsmen to open the prison for him. Most people learned from their mistakes and promised never to repeat them again. But John Dellinger was not a normal criminal. He even committed a few more robberies. But later in July, the FBI killed him with a gunshot. Another story of prison escape is one that became very famous. It even ended up being featured in a movie. Back on June 11, 1962, not one but three prisoners, Franklin Morris and two brothers, John Anglin and Clarence Anglin, escaped from Alcatraz. The jail had a foolproof security system and was located on an island, which means that there was water all around. I'm pretty sure that you'll be shocked to hear that they dug an entire tunnel with the help of a spoon. It is still very hard to believe how they dug a tunnel through a concrete wall. They planned everything, like they placed dummies on their bed in order to fool everybody. They used the abandoned corridor and ventilation channels and then headed to the island by using a boat, which they made using 50 raincoats. Everything happened during the night, therefore the jail officials could not notice it until the next day. It is still unknown whether it was successful or failed attempt because they could not be captured again. And as per the statement of the FBI, these three escapers were drowned in water. But it is hard to believe how it happened. Like if they drowned in water, at least their bodies should have been discovered by the police. Some assumed that after escaping, these three guys had moved to Brazil. The police received a letter in 2013 from John Anglin that these three guys escaped successfully, but now only one is alive. After investigation, the FBI claimed that the DNA evidence was not decisive, and therefore it was deemed to be a fake one. Three years passed, and then a photo came up and made everybody shocked. It was a picture of the two brothers 13 years after their escape, but still, the authorities were not ready to admit that it was their photo. Another famous Hollywood movie, Catch Me If You Can, in which the renowned actor Leonardo DiCaprio performed the leading role, was based on the real story of Frank Abagnale. Frank Abagnale was disreputable due to his fraudulent activities, as you might have seen in the movie. He was a teenager when he started committing crimes. He even broke out of jail twice. But for the first time, he escaped from a British airplane, and therefore he was deported to the United States. Ultimately, he was arrested again by the police in April 1971. This time, Frank made the guards fools. While heading towards the detention center in Atlanta, the US Marshal forgot some important documents. There were also not very strict rules, and the federal workers used to inspect the prisoners. Frank misled the security guards and made them believe that he was an undercover inspector. It took him a few weeks to build up the story, but finally, he convinced the guards by showing them a fake FBI identity card and managed to escape. He was recaptured again after a few months, but his story has become well known. I'm pretty sure that you'd never expect a prisoner could fool guards by using a painted nectarine as a grenade, because I certainly did not believe it. But yes, it's true. Mitchell Vajer forced the guardsmen to allow him to get to the rooftop of the prison where his wife could pick him up in a helicopter. Just imagine for a moment that his wife Nadine Vajer was so determined to help her husband in escaping from jail that she took helicopter flight lessons. I don't know whether you would say it was true love or an insane attempt. As per the reports, Mitchell was involved in killing people and robbing banks. Therefore, he was serving a long sentence. Back to the point. His wife picked him up from the rooftop and they both landed on a football ground and they drove away. But they could not fool the police for too long. 
Later on, Nadine was captured in France and her husband was shot while attempting a robbery, but survived. The Magic Key on June 10, 1995 In this story, the prisoner did not dig a tunnel or use a helicopter, but they escaped from the jail by memorizing the outlines of the keys. I know it's very difficult for a normal person to remember the outlines of the keys, but these three prisoners, Keith Rose, Matthew Williams, and Andrew Roger, used to work in a prison's sheet metal shop. So they created all the essential tools, such as replica keys, in their shop in order to get out. Moreover, they also made a long steel ladder and a fake gun. Despite making so many efforts, they were recaptured just in the next four days, when they were planning to steal an airplane. The Three Helicopter Escapees on October 12, 2001 A robber and sentence killer, Pascal Payet made not just one but three successful attempts to escape from jail, and that is why he became a renowned prisoner. On the 12th of October 2001, Pascal's friend hijacked a helicopter and flew over French prison to pick him up. It was a successful attempt. Things did not end there. Pascal returned with his friends on the same helicopter and dropped the guns in the exercise yard of the prison. They had the plan to help three more prisoners escape. The prisoners used weapons like automatic pistols and bulletproof vests and made the guards hostages. The hostage drama could not last longer than a day. The police arrested Pascal and he was sentenced to 30 years in results to him killing a guard during an attempt to steal a car in 1997. He attempted to escape for the third time and he became successful, but had hard luck. He was once again recaptured in Spain. Joaquin Guzman also renowned as El Chapo, was a Mexican drug dealer and he was alleged to smuggle tons of cocaine and drugs into America. He successfully escaped from prison twice. For the first time, he was in a high-security jail in Mexico in January 2001, but he influenced not just prisoners but also some of the jail officials. This allowed him to escape from jail. He was on the run for years, but then the police arrested him again in 2014. Soon after being arrested, he escaped again through a long tunnel and headed towards the construction site outside the prison. After two years, he was caught by the police again because he grabbed the media attention, and he is still in jail. Prisons are deemed to be impossible buildings to escape from. Still, some prisoners have become successful in tricking jail officials. Which story shocked you the most? Subscribe and like so you don't miss the next one.